Okay, hi guys. Welcome again to uh, this uh, uh, new VB.net video regarding developing uh, 2D game. Okay, so it has been a while since I last updated uh, updated uh, the game. Uh, okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how collision detection works. Okay, so right now we have this character and we have the HP at the top uh, left corner and now whenever our character touches one of the enemy it's gonna hurt as you can see now it's flashing and then um, you'll find that the HP decreases a little bit okay so let's search for another enemy and try to uh, to touch it okay so now this uh, our character is getting hurt let's touch another one let's touch this guy where are you going where are you going and I'm running after him. Come on. There you go. Gosh. Okay. And this is the last time. Come on. Okay. And my character died. Okay. So this is uh, collision detection. Okay. So I'm going to show you how uh, this actually works. It's not that difficult. It's very easy, straightforward. Okay. So. Um, there are two things here. Now the first thing, if we go to our class in this case, um, which is the base creature, and uh, if you remember um, from the previous uh, videos and previous code that this one has all the physics of our character and stuff like that. So what I did is something very simple. I went to the end of this class and added this sin single method which is does object collide with the creature and what this function uh, receives okay here it's the object X object Y the width and the height and now uh, it's gonna compare these against the current object co coordinates okay so uh, here the X1 X2 Y1 Y2 will be calculated uh, for the the uh, for the object and then the x1 x2 uh, y1 y2 for our current creature will be calculated and then a check will be made uh, okay so in order to explain what this means here uh, I'm gonna draw it in a word and explain it it's very straightforward okay so here let me insert two rectangles so this is gonna be the first rectangle Okay, and let me follow it like that. Okay, and this is the other rectangle. Okay, so now let's say these are two creatures or two objects, and I want to make uh, detect if any one of them is of overlapping with the other. So what happens is that uh, if you have this object colliding with this one, what do you see here? You'll see that this corner, which is in this case it's x1, y1 is actually what is actually within the boundaries of x1 x2 uh, for the x values within the boundary of between x1 and x2 and the y1 here is between y1 y2 okay if you have it the other uh, the other way you'll find that this point is actually between x1 x2 and y1 y2 same goes here same goes here and even if this one is a little, a little bit of a small object you will find that all the points are inside the bigger one okay so you can say this is a way to detect uh, uh, objects are colliding you will need to check that the x one of these two ends is within x1 x2 and one uh, of this is for the x value and one of those uh, y points is within uh, the height okay so this is uh, the idea behind collision detection okay so now uh, if we have a look here check this condition I am checking the x1 for the object I want to check that it's colliding is what uh, is uh, between x1, uh, x1 and x2 for my creature okay uh, this is for the left uh, left point of the object 
or the right point of the object is within the x1, x2 uh, region. Same goes for y1, y2. So I'm guessing that this is easy to understand. Okay, so this is the first part. This will allow me to uh, detect if an object is colliding with my creature. Uh, this is the first thing here. So let me show you here in general operations, which is which contains the main loop, which is the render loop in this case. Uh, let me show you how we are able to um, detect co collision. So here I put this uh, collision detection condition. Okay. So, um, okay, uh, maybe I need to explain the unaffected here. Okay, so let me view this one. I shouldn't have. Okay, so uh, now let's have a look on our hero class, which is derived from the basic class. So, what did I do here? I created this unaffected uh, counter, and this one's job is what. Uh, when you uh, when your character touches an enemy okay uh, it, it will go into this mode where it cannot be affected for a while because you don't want your character to have its energy drawn down as soon as the inner enemy touches you you want to give the user a chance in order to escape and do some kind of stuff okay um, so here I am setting this to 100. I have also the current HP and the maximum HP. Okay, so um, this is the first thing. The other thing here is that I am decreasing the unaffected counter, and if it is smaller than zero, make it zero, just in case. Okay, so this is the other part that I, I've just added. Okay. Also, I have over. Uh, uh, I did override the render creature, the render creatures, um, which uh, draws the uh, our hero in this case, or our character. So, wh what's the uh, replacement code here? It's very simple. If my character is an uh, sorry, if the unaffected is greater than zero. What does that mean? It means that my character or the hero was harmed by the enemy. So I need to make it a flash so that the, the, the player can identify that the character got affected by something. So here I'm, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I am gonna uh, divide uh, this by 2 and take the modules. If the modules equal 0, then don't render anything, just exit the subroutine. If not, render the creature. And the effect of this simple statement uh, will be that your character will be uh, your character character is gonna flash for a while uh, to detect uh, the hit, uh, to indicate the hit. Sorry. Okay. So let me go back to general operation where we check for collision. So what happens here? This is very straightforward. If uh, our character dot an affected equals zero, which means our character can be harmed now okay so if our character can be harmed in that case I'm gonna check uh, if our character is colliding with the creature E and here I am uh, I am providing the X Y the width and height of the creature itself and by the way I'm using for each here in order to loop on all the available enemies so what happens when there's a collision okay what happens is the following uh, I am setting the unaffected to 100 which means my character now is harmed so I want to indicate to the player that your character was hit by the enemy the, the, the first thing second thing I am going to use a casting uh, so here I'm, I'm checking the data type uh, of, of this enemy and if it is um, a stupid enemy type okay uh, I, I am doing the cast here because I can have multiple enemies and uh, I don't know the, the exact data type for, for that enemy okay so now I'm gonna subtract from the hit point of the player the HP effect okay um, I, I'm gonna tell you about this but basically what you think about it is that the HP effect is how how powerful the enemy is if the enemy is very powerful the HP effect will be high and your HP will drain more quickly 
okay so here I am drawing a little bit of your HP and then I am checking if your HP is a small than zero make it zero and another check if uh, is that if your HP is zero then your character is dead so just cl uh, close all uh, and close the program and release all the resources and uh, just show the the end user that your character died okay uh, so um, this is it okay uh, another thing here that I've added is that the indicators so here uh, where's that uh, wait where's the renders okay so here this is not render execution uh, this uh, render the status part so I added a module here called the status and this one is gonna render your hit point and maximum hit point okay and if I go to this module and double click that what do I see here uh, this is very simple indeed and here I am having a black box which is uh, a black square it's a surface and a text surface that will allow me to write into the display so if a black box is nothing which means if this is the first time I am rendering the uh, status part which is the black strip that appears on the screen on the top of the screen or the display I'm gonna do this black box equal uh, load the uh, load the image as you can see here and next I, I am going to um, create this text surface okay and uh, supplying the font times for times new Roman and uh, the font size is 10 and I want the font to be bold okay and next uh, I'm gonna loop on the, on the top uh, part of the display and draw this black box in order to clear it to, to clear that part and finally uh, I am drawing an empty rectangle which is a white one okay uh, this is the first thing and then I'm filling this rectangle with with red HP value okay here I am, I am computing the HP you might be asking why do you comp compute the HP uh, although it's already uh, up to 100 well the reason is that I want to increase the HP later okay one last thing here is after displaying the value of HP uh, I'm gonna display this text just to indicate it just in case and uh, that will be it okay so um, yeah this is all uh, re regarding uh, this uh, technique I'm gonna make this a little bit 600 by 600 just to make it a, a little bit bigger save that and build your solution okay I'm gonna run this again just to show you what's gonna happen test wait a few seconds and now yeah okay so you can see that our character now oh ouch okay so now our character is not affected by any of the enemies let me run away come on okay I've just just touched one of those guys okay wait a minute Whoa. okay so you can see my HP is half by now I'm gonna touch this guy to get harmed a, a little bit and this guy I'm gonna run a a little bit anyway so so you get the idea um, okay it's very straightforward very easy to do this is how you can do collision detection um, yeah so hopefully in the next video I'll be working on audio how to uh, add some audio effects into the game um, and after that hopefully I will be start working with weapons and uh, I hope that will be a cool part uh, because uh, I want to add some guns and stuff like that okay which which will make the game a lot of fun anyway if you like this and you want to experiment with that a little bit maybe modify it and have uh, or have some kind of an idea regarding the game you want to contribute to that to the game or do something like that um, let me know uh, send me your notes at notes at mka-soft.com uh, also you can download the source code uh, from the website and uh, let me know what you think uh, your opinion matters thank you and have a nice day bye bye